Thank <laughs> you. 
man the first to pray. Without prayer, you cannot attain moksha. As uh, the great Mahatma Gandhi said, there is no food. It is important for the physical body. Prayer is important for the animal soul. So this is why we go to work, we go to Maria, we go to church, we go to Satsang, we will have a guru or Vatsmata to teach you. You know, my God, your prayer, and you are supposed to pray every day. That is the duty to God. Duty to God, every day, every day. All right, so we have the time. And we, in our own way, we pray for the soul, for the karma of the relationship man, plus two. All right, thank you very much. I'd like to hand over to Mr. Stanley. He will say, I don't know what to do. All right. Oh, mm-hmm.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 
very difficult. So we got 15 minutes to count the tape. We put this with a government hand, and then we got the anti And then we did the end. So after this body is created, then we got the body again. But you can perform right from the soul, the very from the soul.
members of the community, well-wishers, friends. We know it's a difficult time in the life of this family, but we trust that God will take them through these difficult times. I was asked, asked to say a few words. And I was asked by one of his sons to be very sure. So I'm going to try to be very sure in reading this, what I've written last night. Frank Sergio was born to the late Mr. and Mrs. Sergio Jaikina, and if I have it right, of Jones Village Bar in 1944. He was the fourth child out of 17, comprising 11 sisters and six brothers. He lived at Jones Village with his parents until he got married and moved away from there into various parts of the Southern Hemisphere. As a young boy, he had a wonderful relationship with all his brothers and sisters. And that relationship has withstood the test of time, such that most of his siblings are with us today, except those who have passed away and those who could not make the trip from abroad. On October 23rd, 1966, Frank got married to the most charming, soft-spoken, quiet, and beautiful daughter of the late Suraj Bali and Sumaria Bihari. If Frank thought that he was getting away from a large family into a smaller one, well, I think he was in for a surprise, because the family he joined also had about 11 children. Out of this marriage, they were blessed with one daughter and four sons. And today, those children have blessed him with 12 grandchildren and his first great grand. He labored tirelessly to provide for the best for his children in terms of the basic necessities of life and for his education. He did not mind changing jobs to meet the needs of his family. He instilled in the hearts of his five children love for each other, respect for elders, compassion for others less fortunate, honesty, and integrity. Now, growing up in the 50s and 60s in Barapur, the only permanent work in this area was either cutting cane, planting rice, or growing animals. So Frank, along with his brothers and sisters, they had a fair share of farming experiences. As soon as he got married, he began working in the Herrera Coco Estate at Maruga, and then I think he went and spent some time in Larofin. And after his few years, there he was allocated a five-acre plot at the Lassaban Sheep Crop Project, where he spent about six to eight years as a, a sweet potato farmer. Maybe this is why he called him a sweet boy. In order to make ends meet, he went several years in the Canadian Farm Program, under which farmers from Trinidad were contracted to work in Canada and earn a livelihood. However, his final employment was as a bus driver at the Public Transport Service Corporation, where he served them for close to 30 years. We could say that he was a jack of all trades and a master of none. Although he was a poor person by uh, normal standards that people call to be divided between poor and rich, he was really very rich. He was very kind and hospitable. I recall when his kids were in their teens and the early 20s, and several of his village boys used to come here by Frank to land. <laughs> Frank, along with Maria, I don't know what they would do, but very soon, these boys would have lunch or dinner before they left for their home. In addition, whenever family or friends would drop by, either to say hello, with or without invitation, you could be sure that they would be fed before they left. He also was a man with a strong will. I remember in his career as a cane farmer, he went to fertilize his cane fields one day. After some hours in the field, he felt his left hand become numb and he started to lose feeling on his side. 
He was rushed to the San Fernando General Hospital where they did not give him any medication. All they did was they told us to take him home and monitor his progress. After some family consultation, he was taken to the so-called stroke doctor in Princess Town. And after just a few visits, Frank was back on his feet and went back to the cane fields to continue where he left off. The doctor was surprised at his remarkable recovery. Coming close to his 60th birthday, the PTSC was restructuring and Frank was one of the first ones to take voluntary service enhanced packages, what they call VSEP. After his retirement in the late 90s, he went back to work on contract with PTSC and remained there for a while, but he continued in the skin farming business and remained in the cane farming community until the industry was closed down by the government. Within the last 30 years or so of his life, he joined the temple at number five. And along with his wife, they were active members of that temple until his passing away, just a few days ago. He was very fond of his grandchildren and spent many hours taking them to school and back on a daily basis. And in this modern, in this modern era, he spent time with them on WhatsApp and Facebook. So you could imagine, he was in time. So friends, in closing, since you are here today, I want to thank you for it means that he touched your lives in some way, one way or another, either positive or negative. It means that you will miss him. Yes, he will be missed. Friends will miss him. His grandchildren will miss him, especially his playful nature with them. His wife will miss her best friend at her side. The five children will miss their father, the source of the inspiration. The siblings will miss either their elder brother or their younger brother, right? And the grandchildren will miss their grandpa. So, I would like to just say this. The clock of life is warm but once, and no man has the power to tell where the hand will stop at late or early hour. To lose one's wealth is sad indeed. To lose one's health is small. To lose one's life is such a loss as no man can restore. The present only is our own. For God, live for God with the will. Place no faith in tomorrow, for the clock may then be still. On Friday, October 28th, at around 9 p.m., our brother Frank breathed his last at the San Fernando General Hospital. To a father, to a grandfather, to a brother, an uncle, a nephew, a friend, a colleague, a neighbor, and to a husband, to, to, to the, the husband of the wife. Surely we will all miss him. But the Father in heaven knows that you fulfill the purpose for which you came, and therefore it is time for you to rest from your labor. May you rest in peace until that great day. I thank you for giving me this opportunity.
ale to je tím, že je to věc. Udělá to v principu mladě, která byla vypadá, že jsou vyprávět, že jsou vyprávět. So, I know from my friend, and you have to give to the book to me, so I have to go in, and I will do to you myself, so I'm going to go in, and 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 I'm going to go in,
Dia sangat ikhlas, ni bang. Hola. Mana nak fikir apa nak awal nak fikir? Just like I do home. Five times, just give them a job. Right, right, right. Somebody else. Then you want that job, right? Oh my God. Go to the restaurant, 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 go to the restaur
पवित्र स्नान
ਤਾਂ ਜੀ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ ਦੇ ਜੋਗ ਤੇ ਸੰਤੇ ਵਸ ਤੇ ਚਿੱਤ ਗ੍ਰਾਥ ਹੈ ਅਕਸ਼ਯ ਪੁੰਦਰੀ ਕਾ ਅਕਸ਼ਯ ਪ੍ਰੇਤ ਮੁਕਸ਼ਯ ਸੁਰਵਾਈ ਸੀ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਪ੍ਰੇਤਾ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਸ਼ਾਂਤੀ ਦੇ ਜੋਗ ਤੇ ਸੰਤ ਦੇ ਵਸ ਤੇ ਚਿੱਤ ਗ੍ਰਾਥ ਹੈ ਅਕਸ਼ਯ ਪ੍ਰੇਤ ਮੁਕਸ਼ਯ ਸੁਰਵਾਈ ਸੀ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਪ੍ਰੇਤਿਆ ਮੁਕਤੋ ਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਕੋਪਿਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਕਬਜਾ ਪਿੰਡਾ ਜੋ
Nah, so itu ada kami. Dan yang ini lebih fiksi. Mami dia kan, yang ini lebih fiksi ni mami waktu aku pelakon, aku pun mami. Yes, yes. Kepian ni, kepian ni.